Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the DNC Digital Studio. I'm Julie Phillips, Senior Engagement Editor here. And as promised, we just spoke a, a little while ago to PJ Penwell, and now Garth Fagan is in the house. We're glad you made it, and you weren't even really that late. <laughs> really Thank you, Julie. Thank you. I was worried you did, to death. You did a good job. Yeah. Good job. So 45 years, this is a big anniversary you're celebrating. Now, did you ever think four and a half decades ago that you would still be doing this? Yes. <laughs> yes. My, my mentors, you know, Merce Cunningham, he did it till he was 91. And then he shut down, you know. And, then there was and Martha Graham forever, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So you knew you were in for the long haul. In for the long haul. And when you have dancers like PJ, who is now my choreographer, besides my muse and my assistant and the Lion King, and Bill Ferguson and all of these wonderful people. Steve Humphrey is still dancing mm -hmm. with me. He started at the very beginning and he's now 74, yeah, 64 years old. Oh Lord, Steve, don't kill me. Uh, <laughs> he's now 64 years with abs and everything, you know. It, it just warms your heart. It you know? really, and it really defies what people think about dance. Right. You know, dancers are supposed to sort of have that fallback career for when right. the knees give or right. the, the ankles give. What's, what's the secret at Garth Fagan Dance? Well, way back if you read my reviews, I said I wanted to do this. I wanted a dance company with all ages on stage. And we going on between 18 and 64. Wow. So you have the young ones with all of that energy and, and youthful exuberance that we need and love. Mm -hmm. And we got the middle-aged ones with kids and, and what have you. And then you have the great-grandfathers like me <laughs> <laughs> that, that are out there still kicking it because that is the society we live in. And I got tired of seeing only young people on stage in mm -hmm. dance companies, you know. And I wanted to, Natalie Rogers is doing a solo in this dance of mine. Um, you'll ball like a baby. I mean, some very sophisticated ladies saw it in the studio and they were just bawling. And bawling with pain but great pleasure mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. gratitude to her. Her nuance, her subtlety. You know, yes, and yes. her experience. She's a mother for an 11 year old now, and she's 11 year old, but you know, these days she's 11, but she's going on 17, you know, <laughs> knows everything, yes, you yes. know, quicker than they used to, and you yes. know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's it's in the kind of in the technique then yes. that that enables the dancers to keep on going. Yes, yeah. it w and it was designed to do just that, mm -hmm. you know, because I wanted to and see worked. a community <laughs> on stage. So yeah, so we're going to open the 45th season um, at Nazareth in just a, a week and a half or a couple of weeks from now, um, and you have a brand new piece yes. that is going to premiere, world premiere. Can you tell us about it? I think it's called In Conflict. In Conflict. In Conflict. Not conflicted. Okay. Different thing. Somebody who is conflicted has made a choice to be in the conflicted area. Okay. In conflict is the positive, positives and the negative pulling you hither and so on. You okay. Know? You so are at the mercy of the conflict. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And she fights through her conflict in, in conflict A. And it's just amazing and subtle and a mature woman and sensual without cheap or tawdry, you mm -hmm. know, but that sensuality. Um, and then we have in conflict B and Vitolia Jean, one of my great male dancers, he does in conflict B. And ha as has been my experience in my personal life and my relatives' lives, women go in depth and go for nuance and clarity. We rush through things, you know what I'm talking <laughs> about, and then we say, yeah, okay, so we move on to something yes, dear. else, you know. <laughs> yeah, yes, dear, yeah. Yep. Uh, and we're watching the game, yes, dear, you know. <laughs> so anyway, um, and that shows, that shows clearly. Then <clears throat> there is a wonderful duet called non-conflict and this is a relationship which is good but it doesn't have the closeness and the texture that a great relationship would have 
So it's not conflicted, but it's not all that. And there's a little chilliness between the two of them, you know, um, her and Vitolia. And then we go to the last section, which is called Win, W-I, and Conflict. And here we have three couples dancing fabulously and one gentleman who doesn't have a mate. And he's dancing around and throughout all of them looking for something. <laughs> and the, the other couples experiment with all types of relationships. Beautiful lifts, lifts to die for, lifts wow. that you or anybody else has never seen. They came out of here. Uh, well, and, I'm looking uh, forward to that. Yeah, wow. and I, I told you the music was by Arvo Perth. Mm -hmm. Well, you told me beforehand, but you didn't yes. say that on Facebook Live here. Yes. So um, tell us, you know, the inspiration for the piece. It, it, when you hear conflict, you start to think about the world today. Is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I preceded the world today when mm -hmm. I started to work on this. Had I known where it was going to go, I might have made a different dance. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I've had lots of conflicts in my life. Um, including lurings to go back to Broadway, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I just came back from Amsterdam last week where we opened a production of Lion King, second time wow. in, 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 wow. in 20 Amsterdam. years it's been, I think. Yeah, next year since, will be Since you choreographed years. Lion yeah. King. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> and that pays much better than poor Garth Fagan dance can pay, you know. <laughs> but that's not the that's main That's the other reason. secret to your longevity. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I sent back paycheck. a picture of a thing saying I belong to Disney. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very funny. Um, but I'm very proud of that piece in whatever language I see it in. Mm -hmm. The same places people cheer and the same places they applaud, you know. And I can thank Julie Tamor for choosing me to do the choreography. And she was our fearless leader. I mean, two million ideas a second, you know. Mm -hmm. And really passionately involved in what we were doing. And all my colleagues, you know, Richard Hudson, you know, all my descent designers, all my colleagues were just amazing. As we worked in this way into the hours of night, we do a preview, uh, preview which would end at like 10.30, 10.45, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we'd have meetings for two and a half hours to plan what we wanted to improve, what could take a little bit more, what could take a little bit less. But all my colleagues, led by Julie, wanted to do something extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And thank God it's proven that way. And it's broken all box office records of and any it, it, entertainment form throughout the year. So the gods blessed us. <laughs> but yeah, hard well, work. Yeah, well, it was hard, hard work. work, too. Yeah, yeah. Now, you have mentioned over the years that you would love to do that again. Yes. Um, w any, any, any news on that front? No. I've turned down three things. And... Um, Disney was going to do another one and got into some fiscal problems. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure we'll do it. But so someday I, we are going to see it. Yeah, them. but I want it extraordinary and path-breaking mm -hmm. as Lion King. It's hard was. when you set the bar this high. Yes, you know, yes, Because then yes. you got to get even higher. But it keeps you working <laughs> harder. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so tell us about the dancers we're going to see um, this season up there on stage, what they bring to the stage. They bring wonderful physical bodies, talent, and something that the world doesn't know about dancers, great intelligence and knowledge, because they have to phrase the music, they have to know their spacing, where's a clear path, mm -hmm. and you know, when they've got to lift somebody and put them down. And, um, they have these old phrases, shut up and dance. Uh-uh. That's old school. Nowadays, dancers are very bright. And all my dancers are brilliant. And 75% uh, of them have college degrees. Mm -hmm. And one of them is a medical doctor. So and yeah. one's yeah. a medical doctor. So we have doctor. the familiar ones. We have the PJ, Natalie, um, Sade is now uh, becoming very familiar. Oh, but uh, Vitolio, yes. uh, who else are we going to see this season when you open up? Um, well, we have Sarah Herbert. She's new, 
and got a, bo a body that God designed for dance, you know, slender and beautiful and passionate. And she's a wonderful Christian young lady. And Christian in the best, best sense of the loving, uplifting way. Not thou shalt not, you know, right. not that mm -hmm. foolishness. Um, um, and, and, and Winnie Ri Winston Rice is going to be dancing He's too. Been He's been there and he is just lovely. And um, Rochelle, my newest dancer, she's 18, you know, and she came from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, amazing dancer. She's, and Nina, Nina I found in some college, um, Ohio State I think it was, because um, I went to do a dance there in the student and fell madly in love with her. And the third day I worked with her, I said, you're a Taurus, aren't you? And she said, yes, how did you know? I said, <laughs> your wisdom, your hard work, and wonderful stuff, I'm a Taurus. So, but, uh, but so they she are was, the best. Yeah, but she was a little, you know, Duke Ellington, <laughs> Brahms, you know, mm -hmm. we can go mm -hmm. on and on. You know? But anyway, Stevie Wonder, <laughs> Barbara Streisand. Oh, <laughs> we are going to go on and on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I just want you to know that our, we're... Our uh, we, producer over there is also a yeah. Taurus. So. Oh, oh, hallelujah. I, That's I used to so organized, so yeah. <laughs> Everything is so, so organized because we work hard. We work mm -hmm. hard, and we are demanding of ourselves first and of other people next. You know, and let's just get it done. That's mm -hmm. that's the bottom line. So I have all these wonderful new dancers and the seasoned professionals that PJ and Natalie they think like me. So I don't. I told you there were my assistants on the mm -hmm. Lion King. So they know exactly what ought to be and what ought not to be. But he still has his own voice in his it, piece. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, no, 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 very important. He said you're pretty hands off. Yes, yeah. oh, hallelujah, you know, <laughs> I gotta keep my hands. So he gets to express his voice and mm -hmm. his vision. And he's from a different generation than me, you know. So um, that's important, very important. And it's got to be something very rarefied that I'll, and I won't say do that. I'll say, do you think that perhaps, <laughs> Which means yeah. do that, right, PJ? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but to that's let, how parents him, talk. Yeah, that's let him good. know that's that good. I'm celebrating his <laughs> voice, but maybe you could, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that's important and so valuable to have dancers of that intelligence, technique, and substance. And it really, the results are just wonderful. So I gotta ask you, over the 45 years, has, has much changed the kind of dancers that you work with? Or, or is yes. It, <laughs> how so? <laughs> yes. Well, the newer dancers are our new electronic babies. Mm. They don't do jump ball. They don't play ball in the alley, jump rope or ball in the alley or any of that. They're on their phones every break they get. This is it. They're all of the, they're wonderful toys. And it's great because they have to live in their age. But the good families and the good parents find a balance between the new and the old. Mm -hmm. And like when I have Thanksgiving dinner, you're leaving those cell phones right over there. You are <laughs> Check not them at the bringing door. them to the table mm -hmm. because we want to hear what you're doing. We want to talk to you. We want to look in your eyes. We don't want an email because an email gives you information, but it doesn't tell me what's going on with you. Right. Once I hear you on the phone, I say, girl, are you okay? You don't mm -hmm. sound like There's you're, so much more. what are you so happy about, you know? as opposed to just an email. So, so we have to embrace the new, but we need a little bit of the old and the family and the community, mm -hmm. which is what we're losing. It does seem like Garth Fagan Dance is really making um, each year, it, it seems to grow the, the effort to be in our community mm -hmm. a lot more. You, you were at the Fringe Festival. I know that you do far more things with um, children in the city school district than most mm -hmm. of us are probably aware of. Right. Um, you're really part of the, the fabric of Rochester. Absolutely. I love it and I'm very proud of it. As I travel around the world, I always make sure I mention Rochester, my home. 
And um, now that fall is here, I'm not so happy. But I, <laughs> I love winter when I go way. to it, when I drive up to, to ski or something. But mm -hmm. I don't like to sell my driveway and all of that <laughs> stuff. But the spring, you have all these dancers that are in yeah. really good shape. That no, thank you. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> you heard uh, for yourself. I tried. You I heard tried. For yourself, you I know. tried. You all right. So, final yourself. question, because I know it's getting late, and we really appreciate you. Tell us about your Thanksgiving dinner. What do you got planned? Well, um, what I like to do personally is quail, and people love my mm. quail. And my sister Joy, my beloved sister Joy, she'll do the turkey and the ham and all of that. But, um, and I do two types of quail, one that's fiery, peppery hot for the people who love that, and then one that's, you know, normal. But that's the specialty, and the usual baked potatoes and dressing and all mm -hmm. of that good stuff. But, um, and great wine, I'm a wino. And red, <laughs> red wine. In the best way. In the best way. I, I don't drink, you know, strong drinks and all of that, but I love me some wine and French red wine. And I found some good South African um, red wine. And the um, Spanish wines are good but cheaper, you know, mm -hmm. so it depends. But we'll have some great wine. And PJ will be there, Natalie will be there. Bill is going to his family in, in, in mm -hmm. New York this year. But usually him and the and boys are you have a nice crowd there. and yeah. good. Yeah. All right, well, so you're going to look in the, this camera here with me and wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. A very happy, Thanksgiving. happy prosperous, well-fed Thanksgiving. <laughs> Big and love. And some wine, Big too. love and some lots wine. of wine. <laughs> lots good of wine. wine. Good. Have a good night, everybody, and thank you, Gus, thank for joining you, us. Thank you, and thank you. It's so good to, good see, to see you. See you again. <laughs>